I was shocked when I found out that there's only one handicap category that has double figures in green success rate when hitting a three wood into the green. In the comments down below, can you guess which handicap category gets into double figures? In the comments, come on, before I give you that information from the guys at ShotScope. Because if you're like me, when I'm stood on a par five, like I've got two par fives here in a row, and I wanna hit both of them in two, really. And once I hit my drive, if it's a good one, I'll probably have around a three wood left into the green. And I'm thinking, hit it on the green, two putts, walk off with a birdie. Even better, hit it on the green, one putt, eagle, walk onto the next, another par five. But if the stats are telling me that I've got less than 10% chance of hitting this green with my three wood on my second shot of my approach, are my expectations way too high? And are yours? Or are we just not playing our three woods off the floor in the correct way? Let's talk you through it. Let's try and improve our three wood off the deck. Let's try and crush them and get that number up and start lowering our golf scores. Oh yeah, that should be a three wood on the green putt for eagle. Don't you just hate winter golf? Like I've literally put that head cover down once. Look at the state of it. As I walk up to my approach shot, I've got three bits of advice for you today and they're all gonna help you with your fairway woods off the floor and make sure you stay to the end one because that is going to be the game changer tip number one and this is so common and i say this to my lessons all the time so i feel like i need to reiterate this on videos as well all the time because it's massive how that ball is lying this is so common with so many of my students look at how that golf ball's lying i'm on the fairway just <laughs> as i normally am but when i get to my ball and i put that club behind it that ball is sat in a little hollow even though i'm on the fairway that ball is on my bottom grooves of my three wood now I'm approaching this shot completely different to how that ball would be if it was sat up. I'm going to be fiddling with my ball position. I'm going to be changing where I'm aiming. I might even be thinking about not using my three wood. So lie plays a massive part and so many people just set up as they normally do to their three woods when it's not lying properly. Tip number one, always, always check that lie don't worry though with less than 10 percent chance of fitting this on the green i'm definitely going to hit the green <laughs> and make my eagle so sat down a little bit going to aim a little bit left hit it off the bottom of the club so spinning up a little bit maybe not got the distance or has it it has but it's missed the green chip and putt needed my second tip and this one relates to so many people because not enough of you have enough loft on your three wood. Now I'm swinging driver at like 115 to 120 miles an hour. My seven iron at over 90 miles an hour. Some people aren't even swinging their driver at what they're swinging my seven iron. So having a similar loft to me on your three woods just seems absolutely crazy. And this is where going and getting fit and going and getting gapping to where your clubs tend to bunch up. Now, yes, if you hit a three hybrid, the same distance as your three wood carry wise, the three wood might run a bit more. And in the summer, that's all good, but it's winter at the moment. So those two clubs are doing similar things, but maybe the hybrid's coming in at a different descent angle, which might give you a bit more control. But it's so important to get your bag set up properly and get the loft necessary for your swing speed and how you deliver the club. So for instance, Mark versus me, I hit down on my three wood. Mark hits pretty level to maybe a tiny bit down. So he's allowed to have a stronger three wood, 14, 15 degrees compared to mine, which is 16 or 17 because of the way we deliver the club differently. Check your loft of your three wood. It's super simple and you can get plenty of three woods these days and fairway woods with adjustable necks. Get that loft up. 
especially if you've got a slow swing speed. Right, par five, number two. Can we? Yes, we can. Oh yeah. That might be middle striper. That didn't get much run, but it's left me the perfect distance to crash my free wood off that fairway. Now tip number three, the important one, the technique that's gonna help you strike your three wood pure off the deck, increasing that number of greens and regulation hit, we hope. In the comments down below, what's the most common shot you hit when you do miss hit your three wood? Is it a top? Is it a fat? Is it a complete toe off to the right or the left if you're a right or left-handed golfer? Let me know in the comments down below. In my lessons, top three woods are probably the most common shot that I see. And also low squirty ones out to the right. And it's because you guys down that lens, amateur golfers struggle with getting the correct low point on your swing. And what I mean by that is that people set up to a fairway wood like a driver, so they have it way off their front foot up towards their left heel, which is far too far forward because your club, generally speaking, is going to be bottoming out early. And what I mean by that is that this club is coming down on an arc to its low point. It's then making its way back up. And you guys struggling striking your three woods are getting this low point in the wrong position in relationship to that golf ball. And you're especially getting it wrong if you revert back to tip one, where that ball all of a sudden isn't sitting very nice. I put that golf ball off my front foot like a driver. My low point's in front of that golf ball and now my club's working up and I'm 100% gonna hit that ball on the bottom of that club face or even worse, get the top of the ball underneath the club and top it move that back to that nice lie <laughs> so what we need to work out or what you need to get skilled at is working out where this ball position needs to be in relationship to your stance depending on that tip one how that ball is lying and depending on what patterns you bring to the table as well if you're constantly topping thinning your three wood move that ball position back i teach people this so often to get that ball position back with their three woods and people go but you're meant to have your four, your three wood and five woods and fairway woods forwards in your stance well not as far forward as your driver but around your sternum to slightly in front generally speaking the lowest point of our swing is going to be around your lead armpit because this is where the longest radius of our golf swing will be as soon as we get to level with our lead armpit that pull, that is going to be our lowest point of our swing so if we start to move it back in our stance we're going to hit slightly down on it which will allow us to get that golf ball struck higher on the club face hopefully giving you better results now once you do find the correct ball position to get that low point in the right position, depending on how you deliver that golf club. Because again, there's no right or wrong because you're all gonna be presenting different lofts, angles of attacks, face to paths. As soon as you find the correct one for you and go and experiment, put it forward, put it back, see which one you get the best strike location with, and then work from there. Because I put my ball position back on that shot on the last hole because it was sat down a little bit. I aimed a little bit up the left, but not far enough. I knew that lie was gonna cut my golf ball, but again, I just didn't know how much it was going to do it, and I underestimated it. So once you find the right ball position to get that strike, look at your pattern, and then bring that pattern to the lie. And for all the people that have stayed for this last tip, that's why it was important to stay, because we're gonna relate your patterns to tip one. Is it sat down? Yes. Okay, let's put that ball position even further back. Now, I don't mean crazy back. I'm talking fractions, little tiny movements of that golf ball position. If it's that bad a lie, put the three wood away, get an iron out, take your punishment. If it's a good lie, if you're on a down slope, you're gonna have to adjust and be able to adjust that ball position so you adjust where that low point is in relationship to your delivery and that golf ball to get that strike up the face to help you hit your fairway woods pure.
So lie is half decent. Ball is above my feet, which with most shots would make it draw. But because fairway woods tend to fade a little bit more, this is going to hopefully even itself out a little bit and I can go straight at it. Tiny bit of a draw. That slope is very extreme, but that should, by the looks of it, be left side. And have a look at that, a slight divot with my three wood. But because I've got that low point in front of the golf ball, my entry into the golf ball with relationship to my angle of attack in the right spot, that's helped me get it higher on the face, get that launch of that golf ball to then hopefully, let's go and find out, pop it on that green. Two birdies, it's a very long putt if it's on there. It's gonna be a good two putt. Pitch mark on the green, oh yes. Ah. <laughs> I've missed the green by a yard. I hope those tips help you improve your three woods off the floor to get those green and regulation stats up when you're hitting approach shots into the green with these kinds of clubs. Think about that lie, think about your equipment, think about your technique, and hopefully we'll help you hit some more greens and regulations to lower those scores. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see next. Thanks all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.